YouTube, what's going on? Cole Hamill's fan. How are you guys doing? And happy Easter. Um, since I had a few minutes, I figured I would show off my newest uh, collection. Um, as you can tell by the title, it's kind of a goat-ish inspired. Um, basically, when I was out of work a little bit ago, um, I had to sell off a lot of my collection. Uh, I held on to a a decent amount, but a lot of stuff had to go. Um, mostly stuff that I was cool with parting and a couple pieces I wasn't, but you gotta do what you gotta do. But after that though, um, I kind of sat down when, you know, all the job and all that got sort of taken care of and I sort of thought about, um, like who I might want to collect next because I like to collect, um, just a lot of the things I collect now, there just isn't that much of. Um, like Pekka Rene, I'm very picky on what I collect for him because I have so much already. Victor Arvison, there really isn't a ton out there. Um, and I have mostly all the nice stuff. Um, Deuce Staley, there's still some things floating that I'm interested in. But again, I'm just picky on what it is. Like, I don't need a seventh copy of a patch or a refractor or something like that. And then Mickey Mordini, there is no jerseys or whatever there's only one autograph as of right now and most of the other stuff other than like raves a couple raves uh i basically have and masterpieces so i just you know i wanted to come up with something fun that i could kind of collect that you know i liked so i made a list it was only a couple people on it um and then i sort of went through it and kind of figured out who um basketball wise i don't really honestly the only person I could think of that I really wanted to collect because I've tried collecting a few different people uh Dewan Wagner Larry Johnson uh who else Sean Bradley uh I've collected a few throughout the years um uh we'll be free um so yeah uh I don't know I just kind of made a short list and this guy was at the top of it and in my opinion he's the best all-time of his sport um you can make some arguments about one person that's currently playing well you can yeah him and maybe one other guy you can really make the argument of it's like a top three um and yeah so I just started looking and I found a few things that were nice and I figured I'll show them off um Ironically, the player I collect, decided to like collect a little bit was Mr. Jack Nicholas, the golfer. Um, I just like him. I watched liked watching him in interviews. Um, again, he is one of the top three greatest golfers of all time. Basically, you put him up there with you know Tiger, uh, Arnold Palmer, Jack Nicholas. You know, three at least biggest names. Um, Phil Mickelson's good. There's, there's other ones up there. Roy McIlroy is a youngish guy. Um, there's some people coming on now, but like, for the most part, you would kind of, those are the three biggest names. Um, there's other ones, obviously, Payne Stewart, all that, but yeah. So, um, so I started collecting him a little bit and I got a few nice things. I figured I'd show them all for Easter. All right. So this is out of 01 SP Authentic Golf. This is a little shirt. Mm -hmm. I would love to get a rookie card, but <laughs> that is not going to happen anytime soon if you look at the prices. Um, and I mean the 71 rookie card. Uh, all right. Uh, this is SP Game Used. Authentic Fabric Singles. Um, it's got some nice stitching in there, a couple lines. Sorry about the glare, but I'm very anal about the whole magnetic team bag. Uh, this is also at SP Game Used. A different year. What year is this one? This is a 2013. Uh, this one's actually numbered out of 100. Um, I believe it's shirt. Uh, event used memorabilia. So, yeah, this one doesn't actually say. Most of them say it in golf, so that's why I also like it. I'm going to say that's a shirt, but uh, that is out of 100, the Spectrum version. Um, this one's kind of cool. This one 
is uh is this is this is 2013 golf sp game used golf 2 um this is the i guess base version dual shirt two different color shirts that's kind of cool and then this is the i guess more premium version this one's out of 12 7 of 12 but this version is a cap and a glove so the cap is up top the gloves in the bottom same design of a card just this one's out of 12 and then i guess the three i don't have a whole lot of stuff um i guess the best three that i have um this one's out of i believe this last year's artifacts uh is this last year's where is it mm, does it say it doesn't say anywhere but i'm pretty sure this is out of the last year's artifacts 25 of 25 hole in one remnants of course mr jack nerdless uh premium that is a laundry tag very nice card uh -huh. cool design just thought it was neat and then, I guess my two best cards. Uh, this is out of 2014 Press Pass 5 Star. It is graded a 7. I don't know what that means, but it is 17 of 45 autograph of Mr. Jack Nicholas. Very nice. I have a TTM, too, of him from years ago that I sent him. And then, so that's pretty cool. Um, again, it's a fairly thick card. So yeah, neat little thing. It's not on card. I thought it was, but it's kind of like the card was made into the signature. But to each his own. And then probably my best card. Well, definitely my best card. Out of 2014 SP game used. Um, signature deer, one of three. So pretty big. Uh, event worn glove, supreme deer. And this one is going to glare like a son of a bitch, but that is very nice. Um, there's all types of stitching and colors and all that in there. Very nice little piece. Um, so, yeah. Um, I doubt I'll ever get like a logo thing of whatever, but um, just kind of neat. Uh, again, I'm not going nuts. Um, this has all been amassed over a decent amount of time. And, uh, yeah, so I just figured I'd show it off. Hopefully everyone's having a happy Easter. Spending time with your family, and I will talk to you later. Peace.